Hello everyone, it is me Austin, welcome to another video, where today, we're going to be playing some Astroneer. Now, I've played a little bit of this game, but, uh, I've never really gotten that far. Most I've gotten is to one planet, so, let's see, so we're just gonna start it out. Oh, and just by landing, you can see, this is already gonna be a good start, we got two, four... Oh my gosh, we got four, uh, supply things over here. Alright, we're deploying our base, right here. Alright, let's call in our... Supply thingy. And let's put down our printer, right over here. So that we print like right there on the edge of our base. Hopefully the cable will reach there. Alright, let's grab the plug. Ah, oh, it doesn't reach, so I gotta move back a little. Alright. And then let's grab the printer from right here. Let's face it the right way. So that isn't actually the right way, so let's pick it up, turn it around, there we go, and then, let's see, so there's some Renzen right there, no compound though, oh wait, there's some compound right over here, so if you do not know, compound is basically like the basic kind of material, you can make tethers out of it. Uh, and tethers can carry oxygen and power from your base. I'm gonna come over here and loot over here though. This little thing. These things carry about two items. Quartz and carbon. Now I gotta run back to my base or I'm gonna suffocate. This is why you need tethers so that you don't suffocate. This would be great if I just die on like the first time I even get out of there we go All right. now let's make some more tethers ooh night time's coming already alright so what I like to do is I like to put a ring of tethers around my base like this so that if something like I just tr did happen then you know I wouldn't like die because I was right outside of my tethers. I gotta add a tether right there. There we go. I'm just gonna leave that. Alright, now up here there is compound. Yep. Alright, let's see. So we're gonna also go take another look around for some more tethers. Um, also guys, comment down below, what, what game should I play, now that I can just record them free from my PC. Um, let's see. Where else were those supply thingies? Wasn't there one out like this way? Yep, there's one right there. I don't necessarily have to go all the way to it. I can go somewhat close. And then, uh, just, like, leave my tethers. Also, I might be able to have a friend join the series, so... That would be good. Instead of just, just me. It's kind of sad, honestly. So, let's see. Um, well, it is lagging, but inside we got rinse and ceramic. Let's see, and over there we got almost nothing. Then I thought that we saw another one right there. Right there, where my thingy is. This is not good, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. 
I'm like stuck. Will I have time to make it? Nope. Nope. Tether. I'm gonna die. This is gonna be ridiculous. Not even the first night. Okay, and I glitched through the floor. Come on. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I still am alive somehow. Let's just grab some more compound, make a few more tethers. We're kind of looking for a cave so that we can uh, get more rare ores, I guess. Rare ores. That's a thing. Graphite and Renson. Graphite's okay. And I think we just find our, found ourselves a cave. There's some quartz. So let's go in. Make some more tethers. Let's grab some research points. Alright, let's take a look. Some uh, laterite over there, and some stuff over there, and Rinson. I think I'm going to come back to there. So, um, let's try and see if we can find the uh. Can I pause this? Can I just end it? Sorry about that, guys. Let's hope that I can actually turn this into a full-fledged video. But, uh, we're gonna just take a look around our surrounding area. What do we got here? This is not a research sample, sadly. So we got some mountain... Oh, there's a, another thing there. But I'm pretty sure that... Oh, gosh. Hold on, I need to turn down my settings. Switch them to low, just for recording quality. Let's change those to medium, because those are important. Um, <clears throat> so, also, Zach might join the series. He may even be able to record it through his perspective using my old setup that I would use because, you know, it's this. It's just the mushrooms or something like that. So you got graphite and some resin. It glitches like that a lot where it will just do that. But then again, guys, this game is very, very very early access. It, like, just got out of alpha, I think. But, tell me guys, how, how do you like these videos? Do they work better than last time I tried recording the computer? Let's just grab these research points. So, I think our main focus is probably gonna be resource gathering this episode. So we're going to want to make a small printer. So, oh crap, we dropped it. This is why we need a small printer. Alright, let's come over to here. Let's put it uh, on right there. Let's rotate it the correct way. We are going to make some medium storage. Let's also take a look at our research points. We got a hundred research points. And that can get us like nothing. So we're just gonna close that for now. Also, here we need to start making stuff like that, so. Let's pop open this. Now 
we got ourselves a medium storage. Eventually I will strap all my stuff down onto platforms so that they cannot blow away. And I'll be right back. So, sorry about that guys. Uh, something came up. And, um, yeah, it doesn't sound like Zach. It's, yeah, you can. My old computer's right there. Hello? It says us need the weeb. Please kill me. Zach, we all know that that's you. Ow. Help, help, being assaulted. <laughs> Alright, guys, so now that I got that all set up, um, we're going to. Uh, we're going to uh, go on a minor expedition out this way. And, uh, yeah. We're going on a minor expedition. You can at least take out the computer. Alright guys, I'm convincing Zach to play with me. If you take out the computer, I will figure out your login and crap, and then log you on, and then maybe you can join. So guys, currently we're just trekking through. Oh yeah, this is what I was looking for. Broken down like things, like old broken down things, because it runs smooth, pretty smooth at least. Yeah, so as you can see guys, I just got a battery. They are very helpful because they can actually store power. Meanwhile, if, if, if you don't have one, your power system will just, it'll just make the power that it can. It won't store it anywhere. But then when something uses that power, it uses that power. And the battery is good for if you have a solar panel system. It's very good for that. Batteries are made from lithium. Some lithium, something like that. But you can't get it on this planet. Uh, you can get it on Baron and the Red Planet. So you probably won't be able to hear Zach either, unless he has a headset that has a microphone. We go into like a Discord talk. Or something. Um. Well, I just ran out of tethers, so peek in this cave. Ah, uh, lag. Get the zero ones. Oh no, you see, this is a nice cave, but I'm about to suffocate and die, so... You now let's do the logical thing and run back to our tethers. I'm gonna start making some crucial stuff, like a uh, research chamber. I want to get a soil centrifuge lodge. Which is it? What is it? And how much? So it's 750 bytes. It's two compound and one aluminum. Basically, I can use a soil canister to extract resources. Like, basically, if I gather a bunch of dirt, I can make resources, specific resources though. It's not like I can make, uh, like freaking iron. Um, so guys, let's, uh, did you plug it in? Did you, um, so, uh, I'll have to be right back, guys. And just so you know, every time that I pause, this is like probably 10 minutes of editing. Alright, guys, so, I just started, uh, building a large platform so that we can put our research thing on. 
and we need two compound in order to build it. So, going on a, little, a mini compound mining expedition. Because there's like compound everywhere here. Alright. A lot of compound already. So, a uh, good thing tonight, uh, I'm watching, uh, not watching, uh, I'm buying Space Engineers, it's a good game, look it up, and I'm gonna go get, oh wait, I'm out of tethers, that's a huge deposit right there, so, let's go over here, got some clay and laterite, and then this one, See what can I drop? Literally nothing. All right. Well, we're gonna leave that piece of compound there. So hopefully we can get Zach and my friend in this series. I'll have to talk to him tomorrow because it's ultimately up to him. All right. Looks like our large platform is done. Let's grab it. Oh, that was the tether. Drop this right there. Let's unpack it. So, and then let's grab this. Uh oh. All right. Now we're gonna make that and some tethers. Tethers. Let's also. Drop the battery right there. Get another set of tethers. And one more set of tethers. Alright guys, I gotta get a screenshot for the thumbnail because I'm becoming a more official YouTuber. Alright, you ready? There we go. So there's a couple screenshots. So, let's see, we need to make another uh, small storage. So let's make a medium platform, a rover seat, medium printer. So in the next episode, I'm going to do some off-camera work, maybe with Zach, and uh, we're going to um, be mining, and hopefully we will have either a the stuff that we need to make a buggy or a medium rover, preferably a medium rover, just because they are a lot better than the buggies. And by a lot, I mean a lot. We'll hopefully have a stable power grid up, or just me, with some solar panels and some wind turbines. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you all later. Good.